Hi, welcome to Linux channel. See, few uh, years ago, I shot a few episodes or series on uh, ten type uh, network drivers. See, these are special network interfaces uh, uh, are uh, defined as a part of uh, Linux kernel itself. So you can find the drivers uh, being supported in the Linux kernel. Of course, you can activate them from the user space and you can use it for special applications. See, usually many VPN uh, network stack or uh, VPN solutions use uh, Tantap drivers. Uh, some of them you can uh, include like V10 and uh, many such solutions. Okay, the underne- underlying architecture they are going to use, you know, Tantap drivers. And you can see here uh, uh, in my website, I have uh, shared all my videos. Uh, I'm going to share this link so that you can go to the website and watch this videos if you are very new to Tantrap drivers and uh, I have also shared some sample code and uh, stuff like that. So to give an idea, TAN is uh, used for L2 applications, TAP is used for L3 applications. Since TAP is L3 based, you can set an IP and stuff like that for uh, you know this interface which you create just like any other network interface. See, this is also somewhat equivalent to this VEATH and other stuff which sometimes we use for uh, this um, virtualization or uh, network uh, virtualization and uh, stuff like that. So this is also, you know, quite useful to create this type of tunneling and stuff. Hence, it is mostly used for, you know, VPN software architecture and stuff or VPN software stack as a part of its framework. Okay, so that's what. So uh, the main intention of taking this uh, video episode is uh, I found an interesting news update as you see here it's just uh, you know published yesterday and uh, the news is all about uh, they have done some uh, driver patch which is going to increase the Tantap performance uh, by around 10 uh, you know 1000 times actually. So it's quite interesting. Uh, this uh, will improve any high speed VPN performance. I'm talking about, uh, uh, you know, not VPNs connected via regular Wi Fi or, uh, you know, or uh, some kind of, um, you know, uh, 4G or 5G LTE networks and stuff. I'm really uh, interested what happens to high speed, you know, VPN. Uh, tunnels okay and any sort of experimental tunnels within your own campus networks so i have some you know test setup like that and i do have some sort of high speed test setup like that but the problem is here we are limited by you know the kernel uh, uh, architecture of this driver itself and few other things and not limited or bottlenecked by network performance okay so in that case this uh, will be the uh, you know this will be uh, a factor which can limit the overall bandwidth so hence it is quite interesting uh, to find this update and i'm going to again uh, share this link as well and if you are interested perhaps you can follow through any other uh, you know links connecting to that so you can see here we can jump on to this kernel uh, you know code check-ins and stuff like that and we can further read i'm not sure what is that they have done so looks like they are done some sort of you know uh, you can see their uh, a variable definition they are doing this base speed of 10 and they are increasing to some 10,000. so naturally the whole article mentions is uh, mention is uh, uh, initially it's been done when things are around 2004 when 10 mbps is more prevalent versus now we need a, you know act we need a more faster network performance so that's what it is and uh, i'm also going to attach see this is again for uh, because my videos are also watched by many newcomers and they may never hear such a term and then they get introduced as a part of their network software development path and i do get also one faq that how do i start getting into network software development and stuff i always tell that uh, start getting to know about networking basics and uh, you know start playing around in user space then start getting into kernel space see user space you you write application layer uh, protocol stack and uh, if you want to really get down uh, towards um, you know l2 l3 or any low level protocols you need to get into the kernel space of course you can also do l2 l3 development in user space uh, uh, we do have such stack uh, in user space an entire tcp ip stack in user space uh, when i was working in data LXE, they had 
a proprietary stack in the user space so that they can uh, uh, you know license and sell and they indeed done for some customer i think some canon dslr something like that i'm talking about long way before then <laughs> you know uh, whatever uh, things we see these days okay so hence they are using some os i'm not sure it's not linux some os and they need the stack stuff like that so you know generally you will find uh, uh, low level layers implemented as a part of kernel space versus higher layers or uh, you know application layer you can uh, you can find most of the times in the user space hence you start your journey with simple sockets but that doesn't make you a network uh, software developer and then <laughs> once you are get through that you can write some custom protocols and stuff and once you are accustomed then you can jump onto the kernel space and get accustomed so the same thing it is uh, uh, we can of course if you are interested you can go through this you can see here it is done as a part of drivers net you know uh, turn dot c which is what you get it in kernel space uh, even kernel source okay it's there in uh, drivers net uh, and these things i did a little bit of walk through in my videos as well my old uh, videos about turn type as well okay so you can find over there so you can go here and you can find here turn and uh, tap dot c so this is an interesting change and uh, uh, once it is uh, been uh, merged as a part of mainline i may be interested uh, to test my toffee performance and stuff because uh, if uh, you know if i recollect in my video i have uh, mentioned that uh, you know about it but of course if not uh, then i'm saying that uh, in toffee i use uh, tuntap as its uh, you know underlying framework so that i get the packets from kernel space to the user space without using any raw sockets and stuff so you can see here in my code uh, somewhere if i take through you can see here sock.h and i have a code to do this tap open and stuff it's a very simple basic tap driver open so that's what it is and you can see that i have written a super api so that i don't need to do this everywhere and uh, whenever as and when required uh, i can just you know invoke this api so you can see somewhere i should be doing this uh, tap open you see there and i can mention that uh, tap uh, interface name and uh, stuff like that so you can see there toffee data center lan tap interface so that's what is the name denotes actually so something like that so this super api does everything for me and you can see there it's a regular uh, tap you know um, instance you know invocation from user space you do this kernel will create that instance uh, that port instance and then it will uh, you know provide that access to the user space so that's what it is so hence uh, this uh, i just i'm i'm just uh, sharing this because i want to you know show that i'm using a, a tap interface uh, for as a part of my you know toffee uh, you know uh, van optimization you know network stack so this is how i get packets in user space so it's uh, a l2 based because i process from uh, all the layers you know from uh, l2 to application layer hence it's a l2 based i am not using this uh, you know uh, uh, the other one which is the tun interface so tun is the l3 and tap is the l2 so if i you know if i confuse either of this and that it is quite common because everybody gets this confusion okay but it's very simple you know tap is l2 part and tun is the l3 part so that's what it is so uh, if you are uh, even more interested uh, go through this uh, driver source as well and uh, see this change uh, they have done in this uh, net turn dot c and uh, this is done at line number 3514 somewhere it is we can just quickly check this uh, you know signature this is at uh, command base speed and uh, this is uh, in turn dot c which is uh, here turn dot c yeah you can see that the whole old uh, source code whatever this is is uh, 603 which is in this boot link uh, which is still having this old definition and uh, let's check this uh, rc1 you know 6.1 uh, release candidate which is the more recent version so you can see that even here it is uh, you know speed 10 
so hopefully we may find that change in uh, upcoming uh, you know kernel uh, source code actually yeah but anyway there is a mention about the tan interface i'm not sure uh, still about the tap driver and uh, uh, i'm i'm still confused uh, what about uh, the tap driver let's check one thing is uh, we go to the source code and uh, we check what about the tap driver does it has any such you know signature or any such definition okay base speed speed so there is no mention about it uh, i need to check if there is any header file which has that or if something like that and in case if you have any idea you can also post your uh, you know uh, your findings in the youtube comments as well so this is what it is uh, if you are little uh, starting your journey towards uh, network uh, stack development and if you are very serious uh, some pa uh, some point of time you may work in some company who may be working on uh, some custom vpn or some sd wan solution <laughs> or uh, or something like that some network stack like that if that is the case then it is good uh, if you have some idea about this tantap interface you can do wonders uh, with this you know framework so hence uh, go through this uh, get an idea if you are very uh, much new to it watch also my other videos and uh, let's just uh, you know track the progress of this uh, uh, performance improvements and if you find any interesting results or any benchmarks you can share it across uh, in youtube comments or you, you can send it uh, uh, to my uh, personal mail id as well so hope this video is useful and insightful. Thanks a lot for joining me. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.